we had to move out of our studio and yeah it was it was it was an emotional part for me especially since i wasn't even there i was at home i had to make that call and say guys let's get the hell out the studio my name is sianda uh sianda mieni i um i manage <laughs> Evolution Records uh mo- artists most of them I'm also uh one of the uh, co-founders um along with my partner My name is Lungwe Lundazi um DJ a uh, producer at Evolution Records I'm also a co-founder of Evolution Records with uh, um Sianda I mostly I'm the one to see when there's an opportunity to do an event at a place um if there's a concert that's coming um what song are we dropping when are we making sure that everything the final product is all together so I met uh Lungelo the same year uh, 2006 that I went to live with my father uh yeah and it was just uh all music from there I think that's where I decided actually that you know what I'm I'm in the entertainment space and uh and I'd love to do that as much as we were dancing at that time but yeah we started in in school um on Fridays um when everyone had to go and clean the classes would go out go on top of 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 of, of, of uh, a water uh, tank it's ta- a school water, water tank, tank. <laughs> have a ruler and start playing a song there and then every kid is dancing <laughs> so yeah that's that's that, where we that felt, was the biggest yeah. highlight one of our biggest events <laughs> happened in school yeah one of our biggest events <laughs> um, so we had music that we we were, we were playing and then we we were aspiring DJs as well and then we were also dancing at that time yeah. so we so we, we easily uh, caught uh, the people's attention by our dance and then um as we 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 grew uh in 2008 I think I started um uh, taking rap more seriously than you know dance and and house and, and all of that so I started you know writing lyrics and 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 getting engaged in battles and and doing all of that in school so I I I I knew that okay I definitely want to be a rapper m- more than a DJ on the other hand he <laughs> decided the opposite <laughs> he yeah. kept he wanted to be a dj and he he stuck with that so later on um fast forward as because we we didn't um uh, uh go to the same schools you know uh throughout high school yeah throughout yeah, high, school. high school days yeah but uh we i went on on my side and then i grew as a as a writer and he grew as a dj and then Finally when we met after school it, it was easy for us to to just get on to whatever it is we were doing because I was already recording music he was already DJing he was already uh, also producing and, and and making beats and I was already uh you know uh like four or five tracks you know in it I started working and then I I eventually got promoted uh as a, a, a at, the, at the job that I was in and then I started working as a manager and then you know then things started looking like okay they're really going well because we could easily take you know money from this side go to this side buy this get that and then it was just not enough because of of um of uh, all the responsibilities you know kid the uh, uh, family you know <laughs> rent <laughs> clothes all of that and then we we I just decided you know what let me just get a loan for this because uh, I'll I'll pay for the loan easily we can pay for the loan easily um and just get the equipment we need and then start working because we we couldn't we couldn't not work any longer you know uh so yeah 2019 we 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 decided on that 2020 we straight on jumped on it uh, registered the company uh bought the equipment uh and then started going uh, all out on it when lockdown hit um we we had everything on the road um if i could just put it like that we had everything on point we had everything planned out everything stopped um sianda stopped working um uh i was not working um i didn't have a 9 to 5 job but i was recording usually had gigs booked 
over the weekend. I had places where I was a resident DJ at um, in, in, in Florida, um, Florida Road in Durban. Um, I, everything's just stopped. So now you had bills to pay, you had family to take care. <laughs> We had a lot of things to, to think about. We had a loan to pay. It was one of the, 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 the most, you know, draining moments where you, you just you, you just went completely brave and, and did <laughs> what you've always wanted to do. And then uh, <laughs> the craft yeah. goes down and then we had to move out of our studio. And yeah, it was, it was, it was an emotional part for me. Especially since I wasn't even there, I was at home. I had to make that call and say, guys, let's get the hell out the studio. And then this day we were like, nah, bro, we really can't do this. We need to work. Yeah. <laughs> no. We need to try to find something to do within the space that we're in. Mm -hmm. I saw a gap um, on, 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 on everything that was moving um, on, on phones digitally when, 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 when people, are, people are always at home. So they have time to be on their phones, to be on the internet and, 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 and whatnot. So I saw a gap um, um, to maybe start doing um, live mixes because we had a controller, we have DJs, Sianda wasn't there, but we could easily get him here and then maybe do a live session or something. Something that will keep people talking about Evolution Records. Something that will just keep us on the, on the flow. Yeah. That gave us um, a, a, a step ahead when, when things uh, eased up a bit. So we, we, we had enough content. We had people that were talking about us already. So it was easy for, for us to be the people they, they think about when they want to book somebody. <laughs> for their gig and, and, and it turned out easy. Um, we had radio stations wanting to talk to us. Um, we had, you know, pretty much a lot to, to, to offer and, and we, we, we had that time, we had the chance to, to create the content and we, we created it and that was one of the best things that happened you know, during during COVID, COVID something yeah. we actually wouldn't have done if uh, if COVID hadn't come. We we wouldn't have have learned all those things, and uh, we wouldn't have gone that far in in you know trying to reach out to people digitally because we we easily could have just planned another event and then boom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, we, we we got a lot. We've got a lot of potential business partners that are that are uh, willing to work with us, that are interested in, in what we're doing. Um, yeah, we, we've got lots of people interested in, in, in getting beats from us and getting uh, features and, you know, there's, there's a lot of things happening and it's, and it's all happening as if, you know, COVID never hits and it's, <laughs> yeah. it's, the greatest, um, it's, it's the greatest thing to see after such hard times. We've got a new concept uh, called BBM by Blue Monday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, that's what people are, are, are looking forward to uh, almost each and every week with us at the moment, uh, where our Mondays are just never the same. And then we've also got our DJ Encore's uh, single um, released, and we now are planning on the music video for it and uh, planning on shooting it. Yeah, and there's a lot. My music video, DJ Lucia's um, First sing ever single. First single. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. First single. <laughs> First single. <laughs> yeah. So there's there's quite a lot on 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 on, um, on our plans. If people want to connect with us, they can uh, reach us on our uh, social media. You can get us on uh, Facebook. It's Evolution Records. You can get us on Instagram. It's Evolution Records RSA. And we are also on Twitter as Evolution Records RSA. There's little that you could ever achieve if you are a quitter. So if you quit, you'll never make it. If you sleep on your dreams, you'll never make it. Try each and every day, every day, every day. You'll definitely make something. Just take it easy, you know, and, and celebrate each and every accomplishment, you know, because everything counts after all. And yeah. if you, you've lived your whole life and nothing counts, then what have you lived, you know? Yeah. So just celebrate every accomplishment, no matter how small it is, no matter how big it is, it's, it's your blessing. Yeah.